Hey guys and welcome back to another Match Day vlog. Today not so away to crew and yeah, Notts have been on quite a good run of form recently. We beat Carlisle by two goals to one last weekend. That was our fourth win in a row. And we're actually nearer to the playoffs than we are uh, to the relegation zone. We're 10 points off the playoffs and we are 13 points clear of the relegation zone and we are in 15th place. We can't actually move up the table today because... Oh, well, we can we can move level one points with 14th place Grimsby, but our goal difference is uh, drastically worse, so we can't overtake them. So, uh, yeah, away to Crew. We haven't actually lost to Crew since 1997, would you believe? We've got a great run against the way away then. Yeah, so hopefully today will be a good day and we can pick up our fifth win in a row. Kind of pies. Let's do this. Not so much. We've got quite a good following today. It's just every time, every time we do bring a car to an away game, we the, the, we always lose. And every time I've gone to an away game this season, we've seemed to lose as well. So yeah, so that changes today. But I don't know if Milson was playing. To be honest, I can't see him anywhere out on the out training. If he is, then correct me in the comments. Yeah, should be a good one. Go on, Alex. Chris Dagnall, not been a, a game of great quality, but Mansfield fans have been overtaken for worst fans of the season, honestly some of, the, some of the worst set of fans ever. One of the main talking points of this half has been the linesman um, on the side of the main stand really making some dodgy decisions. And, I mean, just a minute ago, the ball the ball went out for a goal kick. Clearly, Dag Chris Dagnall picked the ball up, um, signalling that it was a corner. It clearly wasn't a corner. The yeah. linesman couldn't make a substitution up. It was clearly a goal kick, and he eventually gave a goal kick. But Dagnall and Chris, uh, Chris Dagnall and George Cooper have been offside uh, a couple of times now, and just uh, shocking officiating. Quite a go. Oh! 
don't know how we've drawn that. Seriously, I don't know how we've drawn that game. If you wonder why I'm filming near the window, it's so you can see my face. If I went over there, it would be a bit darker. Yeah, not a bad day out. Um, threw the game away, though, I thought. We should have won the game. Two mistakes. Two mistakes cost us three points. The first where Hollis prats about with it in, like on the halfway line, thinking he's Socrates. It, Dagnall gets the ball and rolls it beyond Adam Collin to make it 1-1 and the second one, Adam Campbell has so much time Adam Campbell has so much time, he's got O'Connell on, he's got Elliot Hewitt on but it's a, or he could just bring the ball down and run at the opposition defence no, what does he do, it's a weak header to try, um, trying to play it to O'Connor crew capitalise on it, it's a 4-3 situation uh, situation even um, yeah, it's a good block by Duffy, the first shot, but it comes to James Jones at the back post, and he finishes it to make it 2-2. Two, two. And, yeah, I kind of do think we should have had a penalty in the last minute. Um, Shola Amiobi brought down by Ben Garrett, and, yeah, it, if if Shola Amiobi does not feel contact, uh, um, then he won't go down, because otherwise he can just go around the keeper and put it in the back of the net. If, if, he, if he doesn't feel contact, what, why would he go down? It, it's clear clear contact was made. It should have been a penalty. The referee bottled it in the 90th minute. I also want to say fantastic support by the Knotts fans today, taking over a thousand to crew. Um, yeah, sung throughout the game. Great support by you pies today. Yeah, join me on Monday for the Portsmouth match. That is going to be an amazing match. A great atmosphere. But in the meantime, give the video a like, comment down below your thoughts on the game and the vlog. Um, yeah, stay subscribed if you already subscribed, subscribe if you're new. Be safe, be champions, and as always, Tsuloosh.